I want to welcome everyone today to dream training. Yay, we're going to continue exploring dreams and visions by talking about night terrors. This is something that affects many people. Um, but there's a big difference between a night terror and a nightmare. So nightmares are scary dreams, which can get our heart racing. We can wake up in fear. They can be very terrifying. But nightmares can be from God. They can be an important dream that he wants you to remember. It can be a critical situation that you need to act upon swiftly. So nightmares are not necessarily from the enemy. However, night terrors are something different. A night terror is something that comes from Satan and it's actually a presence in your room that keeps you bound. When you experience night terrors over and over, often it's Satan who's trying to make you uh, push and close the door to dreams, keep it closed out of fear so that you can't receive from God, that you don't want to experience the, the spiritual realm. They can also be because of covenants and dedications and other things that were done along your family line. In a night terror, you'll be frozen, unable to move, and overwhelmed with fear. You can't wake yourself up. Sometimes when you wake up, there are markings on your body made by demons. A night terror can have so many different causes that we want to bring you in for an appointment should you suffer or your child suffer from these. If your child suffers from these, um, we can, the, the Lord has given us great mercy and through his blood and that child can be set free. So you'll have to contact us at our Agape Christian Fellowship site if you wish to have um, an appointment for night terrors. Make sure you let them know it's night terrors and what is going on. Um, you, you know, it's the affliction upon the body that is and and the frozen with fear unable to move over and over again that is a torment by the enemy which needs to end <laughs> and praise god our lord has the answer now we know that a dream that is only in black and white is from the enemy and it may not be dangerous even if you don't recall the color of the dream that's not the same thing as black and white you see we're so used to a colorful world when a dream is only in black and white, you will remember, oh, it was only in black and white. There was no color. <laughs> so lack of or, or muted colors or faded colors or just not remembering the colors, that doesn't really count as an enemy dream. You want to look for the black and white dreams, but even those are not terribly dangerous most of the time. There are other types of dream which are dangerous, which we want to talk about today. And how we want to talk about how to respond to them. If you, in a dream you are involved in intercourse, in sex, that is passionate, that is affecting your body, this is very dangerous. It may be a demon trying to get a place in your life, specifically the demon of lust. And that demon can come in during that dream and if you give it a place if you don't renounce that dream it has a place and it'll start moving with more power over time so any dream like this should be renounced before covering it with the blood of jesus if it happens over and over again after even after you've prayed and asked the lord to guard your sleep even after you've broken soul, soul ties um, before you go to bed then you may want to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal an open door. If you don't know how to do either of those things, you'll need to um, 
go through the classes in the Courts of Heaven Academy. I believe that's 301. You have to do them in order. So it'd be 101 to 301. So make sure and look for, and uh, if you don't know how to sever soul ties, why you should sever soul ties, what can affect your dreams, you'll want to go through the Academy. There's a big long list of things um, that they'll teach you there. And that's the Courts of Heaven Academy. It's freely given. So I'm not trying to sell you a course. <laughs> it's it just want to help you get free. Okay, so another danger of dreams is if you eat in a dream. Eating in a dream is a way of coming into covenant with the enemy and of the enemy entering you a different type of demon. So you'll want to follow the same procedures as a dream based on with a sexual strong sexual influence. Just because a dream makes our heart rate go up, it doesn't mean it's bad. We have to look to God for the true answer. He, um, a member of the body of Christ, may be gifted to help us understand what is being said and the reason for the dream. But we must always remember that it is our Father in heaven who is the source of that gift. It is he who is bringing us wisdom through dreams and visions. And we want to be able to receive those dreams and visions if he is sending them to us. That is all we have today, a very short meeting just about night terrors because it's such an important topic. If you have been afflicted in the past by night terrors and have gotten over it, once you finish the Courts of Heaven Academy, that'll help you clear out a bunch of things that might be strongholds of the enemy. After you get to that point, if you had night terrors as a child and stopped dreaming, um, you'll want an appointment first with your advisor and then possibly with an elder so that we can find the source and see if there's an open door that needs to be shut. Now let's take time for questions if there are any before we leave today. Um, I'm gonna open up the floor to everyone here. Do you have any questions about night terrors and demonic dreams? <laughs>